Okay, so we're now up to part two of section one in our quick summary of the ideas from the Sefer Belvavi Mishkan Ebna. So last time we spoke about how the purpose of a person's life, of a Jew's life, must be emuna, faith in God. This time the Belvavi clarifies exactly what we mean by this term emuna. Well, not exactly, but he makes a very, very fundamental um, Hagdara definition. He says there's two types of faith. There's intellectual faith. So that's, for example, I know intellectually that 8 plus 5 is 13. I know it. I'm aware of that. But the question is, do I feel that? Do I touch that? Does it move me? No. It's an intellectual fact. So that's called emuna sechlit. What we're working towards is to move away from emuna sechlit and to emuna chushit. Emuna chushit means something I can feel. That's like, I feel I have an arm. Yes, I also know I have an arm. But I feel I have an arm. And I feel it inside. It's like the difference between knowing there's a place called Yerushalayim versus feeling what Yerushalayim is. The objective of this sefer, the objective of a Jew, according to many of these great rabbis, Tzadik B'munotai Yechgeh, Rabbi Yechaska Levinstein, who said you can't stop thinking about it for a second, the Madrigas Ha'adam of Novardach, the, the objective of a man is to go from knowing about God to feeling the presence of God. And these are completely different ballgames, nothing to do with one each other. And that's why it's so easy to know something intellectually and so hard to live it. Like the classic case of people, everyone knows it's bad to eat too much sugar, but to know that versus to feel it, to live it, is a totally different thing. Everyone knows it's bad to smoke, but I'm walking around in Papua and everyone's smoking. Not everyone, too many people. The point is, what we intellectually know and what we feel are two different ballgames. The purpose of, of growth in Amuna is to really feel it. And when you start feeling the presence of God, then you know you're growing and you're voted to Shem. That's really the Nakuda, that's the focus of man. That's the every single day, just like a ger that's nitkair, you have to like a Balchuva decides to take that upon himself. Every day we have to decide to feel the presence of God. Shem should bless us to hear that voice of God calling out from Har Sinai. You know, every single day he's calling. The question is, are we listening? And by focusing and refocusing and constantly asking ourselves, am I feeling the presence of God? Am I feeling this amuna? Then we can slowly start internalizing this idea of uh, feeling God's presence in our lives. Okay, so that's the end of chapter one in uh, section two in, in the second in of uh, Bilvavi Mishnah Evne. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope this was helpful to you. Have a great day.